I guess there's no there's not as much room for error. It's not like I could just let one character die and then Phoenix down the other <laughs> characters. I don't have Grab some some recovery items first. She stole Squall's clothes, dude. Squall is the man, and it would be an honor to Squall if she did. What am I looking for here? Um, I was gonna look at what this does. Increases resistance against wind attributes. It's actually not bad. Um, we're going to run back. I can take this guy on. Um, you know what? Let's just do it. We'll go that route. Be bad. It's your funeral. So tried to block that. You're so eager to die. Unleash magic attacks. The effect is greater when the enemy is launching an attack. Strike the enemy's head using physical attack. Happen. Your escape just now? I know, I know, I know. Oh, fuck that thing.
Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. I think we're gonna do Welcome in. Two two Phoenix downs. And we'll do four potions. Come back again. I'm glad. I'm glad nobody saw that. Because it was Thanks for stopping. quite what can embarrassing. I help you with? The Phoenix Dales actually do cost quite a bit. Trying to see if maybe there was anything that we could switch around or do differently. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jesus. is greater when the enemy is using eerie sound wave. Um, so the big difference between those two versions of Rainbow Six is, uh, the amount of money that it costs in game. So like, if you don't mind grinding to get, um, different operators and stuff, then the starter version is completely fine. The only downside is that it does take a lot longer to unlock them. Like my brother bought the starter version and it took him forever to start unlocking all of the all of the operators that he wanted whereas it took me like no time to start unlocking them um, I would say you probably pay a little bit you probably pay a little bit more upfront but in the long run it's less time consuming. just feels like the battles take so long and I'm so bad at them behold the harbinger of destruction behold the harbinger of destruction going this way first Obviously, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff over here. Okay. 
It is true. Practice is going to make me better at this game. Return to chaos, our mother. Return to chaos, our mother. The promised time is upon us. I feel like I'm walking into something I don't want to do. upon us. The promised time is upon us. Behold the harbinger of destruction. Behold the harbinger of destruction. Return to chaos, our mother. Return to chaos, The time has come. Wicked savior, go now to Atrocide. Um, <clears throat> Peyton, I think that would be fine. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, if you get the starter pack, it gives you enough to get, like, one or two. I can't remember how many it lets you unlock. Um, she has come at last. And it's as long as God like savior. you were to get kill her. two that like you live. wanted, and she got two that complemented it, or vice versa, or whatever. Like as long as you like strategize it the right way, I think that would be fine. You're late, Hunter. It's the Hunter, just as the prophecy foretold. Answer our prayers and slay the savior! Make the oracle true! You murder innocent people and expect me to do your bidding? But Hunter, you know we did it for you! For the prophecy! Um... Having a I started out? with... <sighs> Don't on the defender lady. side, I started with you Castle with and Smoke. Guys? And then on the offensive side, Fanatics I started with, with Glass And... IQ. Those are like my two favorite attackers. Glaz is kind of like a sniper. These fanatics and IQ for you uses uh, they think the shadow hunter belongs to them. Like a, uh, a wrist so communicator. And, and it detects all of the, like the tech that they have laid, like traps and mines and, and cameras and stuff like that. Those are the two that I started with on each side. I really like all four of those are really fun. And now what? Um Fuse is really popular. You're gonna fight me? He's really cool. I don't what? have him, but my brother plays with him a lot. Yeah, that's right. That prophecy, it has to be true. Has to be true? You mean I have to die? And you're the one who's gonna make it happen? Bring it on, Noel. I've been fighting destiny for a long time now, and I'm getting good at it. I'm not good at fighting. The Salvation Soldiers are here. Lightning, follow me. We need to finish this, but it has to be the right place. Get the girl. It seems the Order has things locked down tight. The heretics aren't going to get far. The killings and rituals should stop once. Holy shit. It's a long ways away. I heard there's some sort of trouble in here. Um, no the hands or butts about it. it's called a bit boss. You have to present your Radia to God to slow down the destruction of the world. 
No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you'll be transported up here to the Ark at 6 a.m. sharp. Don't forget that, okay? Thanks for stopping. Um, what can I help you with? Pretty much, like, anytime anybody does anything with the uh, channel, like if it's, a, if it's a follow, if it's a sub, whatever it does, um, each, each thing actually inflicts damage onto the boss. So yesterday, whenever you donated those thousand bits, um, whatever the health was of the previous one, um, I'm pretty sure it was just a little bit above 500, uh, you killed the bit boss. So therefore, you have become the new bit boss. Anything that you do on the channel doesn't, like, you can't hurt yourself by like donating bits or anything but now anybody that donates bits it actually goes towards uh defeating you as the bit boss did i just fucking go the wrong way i did i went the long way I don't even know if I'm going to make it up there in half an hour. The dark is where we shine. This area is sealed tight. A perfect hideout for heretics on the run. Show me the crest of Etro. Hello, friend. If you cheer more bits, do I recover health? I'm not sure. Not you again. This is no place for kids. Oh, I'm I can safe. check, I think. The children of chaos, they look after me. If you ask me, you're the one who doesn't belong. Is no that important that you chase them here? We were on the same side once. Friends, I guess. But that was such a long, long time ago. Do you yep. think he's still your That's friend? That's actually really cool. See, there's only one person Noel ever truly loved, and she's long gone. The Children of Chaos told me the whole story. It's a sad but sweet tale of a proud hunter and his friend, a girl called Yule. Oh, poor Yule. She left a hole in his heart that just can't be filled. It's not surprising, though, considering that she died in his arms. In those last moments they had, she looked up and said to him, Don't cry, Noel. We will meet again in the future. Like you'd believe that, right? But Yule was a seeress who could see the future. Now, Noel knew that, so when she told him they would be reunited, what else could he do? He had to believe her. And so, he's been waiting ever since. The poor sad fool. Centuries and centuries of waiting. All on his own. How could I have missed that? All this time, the one thing that's kept him going are his memories of Yule. Oh no, not his memories. The promise of a future gave him hope. There's another oracle drive up ahead. When you see the prophecy, you'll understand. You'll see why. Huh? He wants you, Dad. Spotted Noel, I'm going after him. Light, don't be too hasty. We know he's trying to draw you toward the site of the final showdown. He has to be egging me on, drawing me toward the killing ground. It's like he needs everything to be perfect, everything to be just right for his pro. Light, I just want to remind you that it's almost six, and you know what happens then. When it's time, you'll be. 
be transported automatically up to the Ark. What I don't understand is why he's hell-bent on making the prophecy come true. What does he gain from it? Maybe he saw something else. A future that looks better as long as I'm dead. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Around with destiny. That could be it. Once long ago, he tried to change the future for the better. Yeah. Oh, I was not expecting that sound. No. That was scary. So this is the prophesized future. By killing the savior, a brand new world will be born. Yule. So that's it. All this time, you've been dreaming of a new world where you're reunited with Yule. It's no dream, Lightning. The future is right there in the Oracle Drive. If I kill the Savior, then the world will be reborn. And this time, it's going to happen like it's supposed to. It's going to work. I failed once before, long ago. But you know that story. I defeated a friend because I believed that would save everyone. Everything went wrong. Yes, I won our fight like I was supposed to. And then he died. But that just unleashed the chaos that's tearing this world apart. So yeah, I destroyed the world. It's a hell of a thing. Snow never blamed or judged me though. And Hope tried to lead humanity in the fight against the chaos. Of course, I fought alongside them both. Damn it, but we were fools back then. We might as well have spat in the wind the good it did. I'd already signed the world's death warrant. Five short centuries, that's all we had. And now even that's gone. No, it wasn't your fault. It never was. If anyone's to blame, it's me. Maybe you're right. But you know what? I don't think it even matters anymore. I'm only interested in creating a new future. That prophecy is the key to my dream. My dream of seeing Yule again. I'm going to make it happen. It's nothing personal, Lightning. I wish... I really wish the prophecy didn't show you dying. But it does, and I'm sorry. But I'm going to make it happen. Five hundred years ago, I committed the ultimate sin. One more death on my conscience won't do anything to me. Hmm. It has to be done! That all you've got? Damn. That god of yours gave you some serious power. I'd call it a mixed blessing. I'm more powerful than I ever was, but it came with a price. I'm not even sure if I'm human anymore. Not human? What are you, Lightning? I wish I knew. Believe me. I've taken a lot of lives. More than I can count. If I had any humanity left, I would have been crushed by the guilt by now. Do I look crushed to you? I am going to see Sarah again. I'm going to fight for as long as it takes. Give whatever it takes, even if it's my humanity. But you're not like me, Noel. I know you're different, even if it's for the future. Even if it's to see Yule again. You don't have it in you to kill me. You're still human. You killed a friend once in order to save the world, and you can't do it again. Right? You know it's true. I can see it in your eyes. You think you're safe from me? Sure about that? No. But the clock is ticking on this world, and I've got things to do before time runs out. You don't want to get in my way, Noel. You might still have scruples, but I don't. Not anymore. Technically... In my version of the playthrough, Damn it, Lightning. we showed Is mercy you and he now? killed himself. That's right. Noel didn't to kill save anybody. Sarah, I'll throw everything else away. I'll even be God's little pawn. No one's gonna stop me from trying. Not even you. You want to find Yule? Then find her in death. Oh, I'll find her, all right. Count on it. But we'll both be alive. 
in a new future, in a new world that I'm gonna make happen with my own two hands. Even if it means destroying you! To make the prophecy come true, do you think you have to kill me? The effect is greater in the instant following the enemy's attack. I won't go easy on you. those bits, boy. Jesus. Yeah, I'm just gonna let myself die on this one. Let's do this. Fate is what it is. 
No, I don't think you can power him up. It'd be I was actually thinking about it, like it'd be really cool if you could give him a shield. What a juke. Uh, Rufy, yes, this is a uh, PC version. Try to keep up.
<clears throat> instead of dying 